Hi guys! In this lesson, we will learn how to customize two layered frequency separation technique. In Retouch Ninja plugin, you can optimize this technique using various settings. In order to launch the window with the settings, we have to open the frequency separation tab, which is here. Move the mouse over the name of the tab and then left click on it. You can see the window with the settings. Take a note, if you will ever need to refresh your knowledge about each setting, you can find a detailed guide by pressing this little I button. Now let's talk about each setting. Make group. Make group creates a frequency separation in a group with additional layers of upper and lower frequencies. You can always enable or disable this setting. Let's disable it, press OK, create our frequency separation layers, and as you can see, they are not packed in a group. Now let's enable this option, press OK, create our frequency separation layers, and now you can see them in the folder. When we have our make group setting enabled, we can change the information which is given in the name of a frequency separation group folder by using these additional options. The word Gaussian in the name means a method of the frequency separation. 8 bits is the bit information of your image, radius plus pixels is the radius and pixels postfix. Now let's adjust our frequency separation information so that only the frequency separation radius is shown. OK. You see? Only five pixels radius here. We can also create our frequency separation without any additional layers. If you don't remember why you need additional layers, please revisit the previous lessons on a frequency separation. Now let's try to create a simple frequency separation of two layers and a booster. As you can see, we've created a T-booster helping layer, together with the frequency separation. It allows us to see the flaws of the skin better. You can enable or disable this T-booster layer by using the T-booster option as well as disable the name of this layer using the B name option. Also, you can adjust its strength. To do this, set the slider for five, for example, and this will mean that the strength of this helping layer will be set to 50%. With the Texture Select and Low Select options, you can specify which layer the frequency separation will end on. For example, if you prefer to retouch the lower frequency first, then choose the Low Select, which is the default, and vice versa. If you prefer to retouch the upper frequency first, then choose the Texture Select. If the Texture 
only option is enabled, the plugin will turn off all the layers in the end of the frequency separation and leave only the upper frequency and the booster active, so you can start retouching immediately. The same is for the low only option, only the lower frequency will be turned on. If you check the clone step or the mixer brush option, the plugin will set the tool which you've selected. You can disable these options if you wish. Now let's create a frequency separation with only the booster and the upper frequency enabled. So, we've created a set of frequency separation layers. Our active layer is the upper frequency, which is the texture, and the booster. And our active tool is the clone stamp tool. As you can see, when I choose the radius to create the frequency separation, the next time this choice is saved. This is because of the last radius function. If enabled, it always remember the last radius you used. If you want the radius to always be set with a specific value, then turn off the last radius and use the slider to select the value you need. By default, it's 5 pixels. The tool switch function automatically switches the clone stamp and the mixer brush tools when switching between frequencies. With the global check function enabled, the plugin automatically checks for the previous frequency separation layers. If it finds them, it renames the layers and packs them into a group. And when the color check function is enabled, the plugin marks in red the old group with frequency separation layers. This is our old frequency separation layers group, which is marked in red, and our new frequency separation group of layers. You can set any color for the color check. Create a new layer and make it active. Then right-click on the eye icon of this layer and choose the color you wish. For example, let's make it orange. Now, next, next we go to the settings. Press shift button and left click on the color check checkbox. You see the pop-up window which say that you have set a new color. Let's check this by creating two frequency groups. If you don't want the plugin to check for previous frequency separations, just disable the global check. The Neural option The Neural option displays two additional frequency separation methods. These are Neural and Neural Plus. 
the slider allows you to set the power of the neural retouching of the lower frequency. When enabled, the Retouch Ninja plugin will use the Portraiture plugin for the lower frequency. The Run by Action option allows you to set the settings for the Portraiture plugin. You can download the action set for this option in the guide. The detailed information about these four methods will be shown in the next videos. Now you know how to optimize and customize the frequency separation. See you in the next video.